everyone welcome back to my channel sorry for the late post but here i am i'm back with a new tutorial i hope you guys enjoy and let's get started it's always good to prep your skin before the makeup application so i'm using a hundred percent organic grapeseed oil to moisture my dry skin for the foundation i'm using dior skin forever in the shade 030 Since my skin has been dry lately, I'm using grapeseed oil on my sponges to blend out my foundation so it will give me a dewy glowy skin effect. For my eyebrow, I'm using Anastasia Deep Pro Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. To set my brow, I'm using my brow powder from Bobbi Brown. Using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, I highlight and conceal my face. Don't forget to set your concealer using a powder. For my eyes, let me introduce you to my recent favorite eyeshadow. Stila Magnificent Metal Foil Finish Shadow. Which is basically a metallic powder that can be activated using a liquid primer. So it will turn become metallic foiled shadow finish which is so pretty and I love this product. To give my eyes more dimension, I am using a transition color from Makeover The Nudes Palette and apply that in the outer V, in my crease and my lower lash line. Next, for the cheeks, I am using Hourglass Ambient Lightning Blush in the shade Dim Infusion. I contour my cheeks using NARS Contour Blush in the shade Olympia. Here comes the best part of this makeup look, the highlight. Using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, I highlight my face but don't forget to apply some setting spray to give more intense color. Now onto the lips, I'm using the Balm Mid Matte Huge Liquid Lipstick in the shade Commit. Finally, it's time for individual lashes application. I got these individual lashes from a company called Goodbye Mascara, which is an online store based in Instagram. They sell 100% human hair sterilized individual lash, which is awesome because you can reuse it up to 3 to 5 use. There are three types of individual lash, which is short medium and long so you can customize your lash into your preference now i will show you how to use individual lash put a small amount of lash glue into a plate then dip it your lash into that glue just a tiny bit in the bottom and stick that lash into your lash line I love having a feathery, dramatic eyelash but still in a natural way. So I use 4 medium, 5 short, and 4 long individual lash. I love arrange my lash having a small space in between rather than just arrange from short to long so it will give me more feathery, dramatic but in still a natural way. Oh, I almost forgot you also need a tweezer to take and apply your individual lash easily. This is my first time applying an individual lash and it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to finish both eyes. 
Just took your time, keep practice, and you will get faster as you learn. In here, I apply a black eyeliner into my upper lash line to give a thicker and fuller lash effect. And don't forget to apply an individual lash into your lower lash line. If your lower lash line is invisible like me, this will help you so much. This is the comparison between before and after individual lash. See how much different they give effect to my eyes, but still in a natural way. So I love this technique so much. To finish the look, I apply some lip gloss into my lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on my next video. Bye!